Scott, today's shooting spree in Jackson sent six to the hospital and left two men dead. One hospitalized victim is listed in critical condition tonight. Plenty of concern after a rash of violence in such a short period of time. 830 Saturday night when Jackson police say shots were fired in South Jackson. Officers found 33 year old Charles Watson dead on Monterey Street. They also found three other men with gunshot wounds who were sent to the hospital. Sunday afternoon, shots were fired in a North Jackson neighborhood, and some residents were shocked to hear how many people have died in Jackson because of violence. Uh, this is like the 32nd homicide today. We just came back from like three what? different. Yeah, 32nd this year. What do you think about that? Oh, gosh, this is horrible. 22 year old Lindsell Giles was killed Sunday afternoon after a shooting in the Lake Glen Drive neighborhood. Another man and woman were sent to the hospital. An hour later, another man shot at the Tracewood Apartments. Police say he tried to force himself into an apartment to attack his ex-girlfriend, and another man shot him. I don't even know what last year's was. I, I don't even watch the news anymore because it's just always horrible. By the stroke of midnight ending 2018, the capital city totaled 84 homicides for the year. That's the highest total in the last 20 years. I've been here since 93, and it's just been fine just till lately. It's just been crazy. JPD says no suspects have been identified in the fatal shootings on Monterey Street or Lake Glen Drive. They're asking anyone with any, any, any information to call Crime Stoppers at 601-355-TIPS. Live in Jackson, Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News. All right.